Hi Scott, I'm gonna just to make sure we're on the same page. I mean, this not. I'm just gonna rework the images anyways, but just to show you, because I was like, hmm, the specs for the images are quite a bit off to what I'm using here. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. Okay, so what I do here is I've, I've created what I call this is like a template I use for creating the images for the header. Right now, the actual image here, the actual height is 480 pixels tall. Um, this is just a Adobe Fireworks. So I'm just going to show you how I put this together so you can sort of see, and then we'll figure out a solution. Right now, here's the images. I've got a folder here, and here is the Liquid Blue magazine. This is one of the ones, and it's these ones here with these sort of pics in the background, which are always going to be a little bit tricky. But just to show you, I'm going to drag that in, and you can see here that it's almost the right height. So what I did with this one here is I cut out the the, the colored background. I went in and manually cut it out. Um, and it doesn't quite fit. If you can see the blue lines that overhang. So what I did is I cut the images out and then basically just resized it down like this to sort of fit. And I think I came up with, uh, let me just put this on pause for a sec here. No, oh, this is what I came up with right here anyways. I'm sort of doing it. So this is what it started out with after I resized it a little bit. And as you can see, I this, this was the final product that I, I, the final result here. So the height of this is 480 pixels, right? As you can see right here, that's 477 in this example. So I wasn't sure what you were looking for, and spe specifically in this type of a setup right here. I didn't know if you expected this image to cover the entire width of the page um, or not. Um, but uh, that's sort of what I've come up with right there. So obviously that's not what you're looking for. Right now, my suggestion is when we get to this sort of a thing here, we have the logo coming over top of it. You can't really read it. The best thing to probably do is measure out where the logo would be, which is right about here in the middle, and actually take these pictures and put them off to the left and the right side a little bit so you can still see them without it being covered up by the logo. So that would be my suggestion, us plus the video. Then we get these other sort of images right here, and I did something similar like, like I did with these ones here to start with, cutting out the background and whatnot, but as you can see, when I scroll down a fair bit, you see the, as you can see the size of the blue here, it's about 874, um, what's that one there, 800 pixels tall, and I only have 480 pixels to actually work with, so it's almost twice as tall as, as will fit. So what I thought, I originally started off with making some modifications, doing something like this, right, squinching it down there so it would fit, see the 480? And you can see there's not a whole lot of um, picture left over. So the other thought on this sort of a thing is take these types of pictures here, okay, and maybe put them a little bit off to the side, like so, even if we duplicate it, right? And that way the logo would go in the middle, right, in the center here, and then you get the pictures off to the side, so it looks more like a, this is the... Um, the celebrity one right here, right? So this looks much more like, oh, these are photos of celebrities versus something being covered up by the logo. So if you're looking for suggestions, I thought, well, this might be sort of a better way to go. What I would do, though, is I'd actually, uh, I'd actually cut this black bit out here and just have maybe the orange or just the photos, just get a, a tracer, go around and snip out the, the orange coloring in the background. Anyways, I wanted to show you what uh, you, you had some... Uh, Really, the only way I could talk about it was to show you what I was thinking in terms of uh, what what might work. Right? Like I said, the, there's the big um, here's the celebrity one that I ended up with. Obviously, you see, uh, and the reason I did that is because the actual picture itself was that tall. You see, it doesn't I have to shrink it down quite a bit in order to get it to fit. Of course, in the video, the video I don't know if it's going to show you. It's, I've set my size here to 66% of the actual available space instead of 100, so, so I can fit it all in the video window. But anyways, long story short, by the time I sized it down to fit, eh, it, didn't, it wasn't so big anymore, right? So I left it its original size and just faded it out, sort of like I did with the, the other pairs. But for these guys here, we have these sort of Polaroid-looking type things. Probably the best solution, or one of the solutions I could actually think about if you want them to, uh, you know, not so, you can just put them off to the side like that, you know, maybe one per side, something like that, just as an idea. So 
Anyways, I'll throw that your way, see what you think. Um, and that might be a little bit more viewable or visible in the, uh, in the header of the page.